I think for a lot of people that want to improve their physical health and mental health, they want to recover from injuries more quickly. Maybe they're seeking particular aesthetic changes or mood changes, et cetera. I understand the gravitational pull and the excitement of peptides, but I have noticed that the discussion around peptides because it's in contrast often to the discussion around hormone therapies like testosterone therapy and estrogen therapy, people, I think, inadvertently assume that peptides are all safe or innocuous or that they are potent enough to do certain things that we want, but that because they're not hormone therapies per se, that they are free of side effects and risk. And in addition to wanting to teach you about some of the biology of these peptides and how they work and what they're designed to do, as well as some of their potential therapeutic benefits under the right conditions. Again, working with a really good board certified physician and making sure that the sourcing is really clean and that you're doing regular blood testing and you're monitoring for any potential tumor growth, et cetera. I also wanna emphasize that these are very potent compounds. They have lots of different effects and we are in the early stages of exploring peptide therapeutics. Again, I'm not here to tell you what to do or what not to do, but if you have it in mind that peptide therapeutics, because they aren't hormone therapies, are not without their potential risks, you would be wrong.